Hey everybody, it's George Foshan, Call Realty, Best Palos Verdes Homes. Guess what time it is? It's the uh, end of the month uh, real estate update for the South Bay and the Palos Verdes Peninsula, the beach cities. So let's get right to it. There's a lot to report today, so bear with me. It's going to be a little bit of a long video. You can, you know, play it at double speed if you want to get through some stuff you're not interested in. Uh, first things first, go to bestpalosverdeshomes.com, okay, right up there, bestpalosverdeshomes.com. Uh, hover your mouse over seller and buyer tips and see this second link right here, Palos Verdes Real Estate Trends video. That's what you want to click on, so click on that. And that's going to take you to this page. Now, as you hover over the charts, the... Um, scrolling feature is going to stop so you could pay attention to one thing at a time and what i want to cover i've got a lot of charts here that you, you may be interested in but i put the i think the more interesting ones up front uh, the ones at the latter part of the slideshow get really digging into the weeds as as it were so for you uh data heads and propeller heads and nerds and whatnot like me who like to get into that kind of stuff um, you can, you know, study those. But here's the basics. When we compare the two six-month periods of time of November 2019, did I do that right? 2019 through April of 2020, and then compare the same six-month period of time, November 2020 through April 2021, Prices are up a lot, 15.36%. And dollar per square foot up a lot, 16.83%. From uh, 624 a foot to 729 a foot. And sale volume up a bunch, 262 to 362 sales. So this is really a fascinating one right there because you know, inventory is so down in supply that, you know, notwithstanding lower inventory, demand is so strong that whatever inventory is out there, it gets soaked up quick. So you can keep, continue to go through the uh, charts if you want. Um, there's a bunch of them, like I said. I think this one's kind of interesting, too, especially for Palos Verdes Estates. Um, when we look at the demand supply ratio, uh, pending sale volume to new listing volume, uh, the market has improved in Palos Verdes Estates, 133% to 115. In other words, there were way more pending sales than new listings coming on the market. The market's not able to keep up with demand. So whether you're selling or buying, think about that. Think about what that means to the big question, will price appreciation continue? And the signals are that it will because demand is still outpacing supply. And until that changes, prices are going to continue to go up. By how much? I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. But that's the tendency. Now, the other thing that is really cool, if you go scroll down and look at the tables, I'll, I'll just use Pal the whole of the Palos Verdes Peninsula. I've got other cities and areas down below. But if you just look at Palos Verdes Peninsula, I, again, I compare the two six-month periods of time and then the last six-month period of time, and I calculate uh, what is the most important statistic in real estate, and that is the number of days of unsold inventory. That really tells us what the market is like. So we see that listing volume actually increased and so for sellers sellers might freak out a little bit going oh my god i got more competition but look at demand did demand went up almost 61 percent so that's what four times more than uh, more of an increase than than supply uh is it any wonder that the number of days of unsold inventory dropped and so these are some really important things to think about in terms of strategizing, if you're a buyer, how do you position your offer? How do you improve 
the terms so that if you're in a competitive situation, your offer gets picked or your offer is one of the two or three or four that get countered. I mean, we can talk about that and we should. So, you know, see that blue button down at the bottom here that schedule time with me powered by Calendly. Click on that and book a time and we could uh, hop on a Zoom call or just talk on the phone. Um, that's it for now. OK, uh, I've got other stuff as you as you continue down into the uh, uh, website. So, um, you know, you might want to read that. That's kind of important. That's really important. You know, these big search uh, real estate search companies that pretend to be real estate search companies. They're not that. They're data mining companies. They're taking your data, your contact information, your search behavior, what you searched, how often you searched, how often you're online, and they're selling that to multiple advertisers and multiple real estate agents that are paying them money. I mean, these companies are making billions of dollars a year selling your data. Don't do that. There's, there's, a, there's a way to stay private, to search homes in private. All right, that's it. I'm done. Uh, stay tuned for uh, other videos and stuff. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, talk to you later. Bye.